Hello everyone and welcome back to another video. In today's video I will be showing you my new cheap and low powered Plex server. So yes, you did read the title correctly. This is a cheap and low powered Plex server. And I will take you guys through the specs and parts used as well as how much power this thing uses roughly. Firstly, we have our CPU, which is an i5-2390T, which is clocked at 2.7 GHz, with a boost clock of 3.5 GHz. This CPU has two cores and four threads, and this cost us £12 from Weeboy UK, also known as CEX. Next up, we have 4GB of DDR3 RAM, running at 1600 MHz, that I managed to get for free from a house clearance. We have a 120 gigabyte crucial SSD from my old Plex server, which can be bought for £20 from Amazon. We also have a two terabyte Seagate Barracuda hard drive, which is usually around £40 on Amazon brand new, but you could probably get a better deal if you don't mind going used. Our motherboard is a MSI H61L-E35 version 2 mini ITX motherboard which costs £25 on eBay. We also have a 500 watt EVGA PSU that was bought for £40 from eBay. And finally a very standard looking office case which cost us £22 on Amazon. Now you may also see the exhaust fan that I have fitted to the case. These aren't really necessary as these parts don't give off too much heat but I have put them there to help with airflow just in case. Also my Plex server is kept under a small table in quite a confined space so the fans for airflow are a welcome addition. So in terms of power usage this server is very low mainly thanks to the i5-2390T as it has a TDP of 35 watts. The other parts are fairly low wattage and also as I've said before give off little heat meaning less power is wasted. The EVGA PSU also helps with costs as it is 80 plus rated not the best but it's still 80 plus and because it is a 500 watt and we are using nowhere near that it means the server is using less power and saving money on electricity compared to a lower watt PSU. As you can see, the performance of the Plex server is great. Loading films and TV shows is almost instant. And the server has no problems with skipping and scrubbing through the films. The only issue I came across with the server is 4K playback is not possible. The hardware just isn't enough to play 4K to other devices, so any 4K content I have, I have to transcode on Plex, which takes the server an hour or two per film. So, to conclude, I'm really surprised by how cheaply a low-powered Plex server that actually has some great performance. So, if you guys are looking at upgrading an old Plex server, or you are building a new Plex server, I would 100% recommend going down this route. Anyway, if you like this video, remember to leave a like, and don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. And I'll see you all in the next one.